Hello. Welcome to 3A, uh, which is really our grammar class, the first part of low intermediate English. My name is Eleanor Forfang Brockman. You may call me Ms. Brockman or something else polite if you like. Our class will meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 to 1240 online. But most of the work you do outside of class. That's so that when, uh, if you follow the website and it tells you what to do and gives you explanations and you work from your book or, or from the electronic book, we can do activities and exercises and answer questions when we do meet. Now, let's talk about your materials. The online book and workbook, Focus on Grammar 3, fifth edition, is available as My English Lab. That means entirely online. Now, if you get My English Lab, you have a lot of things. You have the audio, you have online workbook, um, you have practice tests, but you only have it for a year. It's less expensive than the physical book, but you don't get to keep it. The other option, which may be harder to get now, is Focus on Grammar 3, 5th edition, with the essential online resources. These are the audio and a few other things for you to use when you buy this book and the physical workbook. I prefer this because I get to keep it. And there are some very good resources uh, in every unit and at the back of the book. I will send instructions. And there are instructions on the website for ordering either one from the publisher, which is a lot cheaper than trying to find it elsewhere. OK, our class will meet Tuesday and Thursday. And we will be doing two sets of units. We'll be doing units one through seven, which is a review of verbs. And it will cover two forms of the present tense, like I eat and I am eating, three forms of the past tense, I ate, I was eating, and I used to eat, and four forms of the future tense, I will eat, I'm going to eat, I am eating, and I eat, which can be a bit confusing. These are really important to because you get a review of how they are used, in what situations they're used, what the forms are before you move into more complex English uh, verb forms. Now, after Unit 7, we're going to skip. We're going to be going directly to Units 13 through 16, which means we're skipping 8 through 12 to do something else. Here we will talk about using modals and other things to state ability and possibility. This is where we'll do a lot with can and can't, which are very easy to misunderstand. We will ask permission, uh, including, do you mind if I do something? We will make requests, which is, would you mind doing something for me? A completely different structure and please do this, and um, could you do this? And then we will also give advice and warnings. So those are the things that we're going to practice in this unit. There's an awful lot to do, which is why we only do a portion of the book every semester. Now, the units we skipped, units 12, uh, 8 through 12, are the present perfect form of the verb. Normally, people take these classes separately. I don't like students to take the present perfect while they're reviewing the verbs. But this might be the last time this course is offered uh, throughout TCC. So if you would like to study the present perfect at the same time, I will be teaching it on Fridays from 9 to 1. We will be covering the present perfect and the present perfect progressive in units 8 through 12. 
And then we will continue with things like nouns and articles, distinguishing count and non-count using much, many, few, any, some, using adjectives and adverbs, and making comparisons. That's also a big mouthful. So it will keep us very busy uh, just on Fridays. If you feel that you want to take the Friday class also, please let me know as soon as possible so I can give you the course numbers or go ahead and sign up for it now. My contact information, Eleanor Forfang Brockman. My number is 817-515-4593. This is my office phone and I am working from my home office. Uh, but you can usually reach me weekdays and if not, uh, I'll be able to get your message when I check in the next time. You see, I have two emails. The first one, at Eleanor Brockman at tccd.edu is my standard office email. And then Eleanor.brockman at my.tccd.edu is for my students or for things concerning class. I don't care which one you do. Uh, I'll be glad to check them both. I look forward to seeing you in class. Be sure to give me a call or an email if you have any questions. Thank you.